Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to our holiday videos. Today we're going to make this super cute Totoro Yule Log Cake. It's also known as a Bouche de Noel. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I think it's French for tree cake. Let me look it up. There's a lot of weird annotations over the letters, which makes me think I'm pronouncing it very wrong. Bouche de Noel means Yule Log, it sounds like. There's just a lot of pictures of cake. Okay, this was a... This is a failed cause right here. But anyways though, the cake is super cute. I think the Totoro characters look adorable on it and it is perfect for any holiday party you might be having. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so. I've heard that YouTube is doing some weird things with subscriptions, so make sure that you are subscribed and you can also hit that little bell for notifications every time I upload. And without further ado, let's get started. First off, you're just going to add three eggs to a large bowl. Then just grab your electric beaters and you just want to mix that for about five minutes or so just until it gets really thick and pale and fluffy. So something like this is perfect. Now I'm just going to gradually add in one cup of sugar and just mix that in too. Then I'm going to pour in a third cup of water along with a teaspoon of vanilla extract and we're just going to continue mixing that through. And then moving over to a separate bowl, you're just going to add in three quarters cups of flour along with a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then just give that a quick whisk. Then we can go ahead and add this to our wet ingredients. I'm doing this about a third at a time just so it doesn't go flying all over the place. So mix, mix, mix. And then once it's fully combined, it should look something like this. It's a really light and fluffy batter. Now we're just going to pour this into our prepared pan. This is just a 15 by 10 inch baking pan and I've just greased it and lined it with parchment paper. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and tap out those air bubbles. And we're gonna bake this off at 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes, just until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. So it should look something like this. And now I'm just going to grab a butter knife and just run this around the edge of the cake, just to loosen it from the sides and make sure it doesn't stick. Then lay down a clean kitchen towel and flip your cake out onto the towel. This part's always kind of hard, like I was real nervous to do this, but it should come out really cleanly, especially since we have that parchment at the bottom. And there you can see our beautiful little puffy cake. And then I'm just going to peel off that parchment. And while the cake is still warm, we're just going to roll this up. You wanna roll this up with the towel, so it is important that your kitchen towel is clean and everything. And then you're just going to let this cool completely, or you can just pop it in the fridge, which is what I did. And then once it's cooled, you're just going to unroll it from the towel. This way our cake kind of has that roll cake form already, so it's less likely to crack. And now we're just going to frost this up with some buttercream frosting. You can also use whipped cream here, and that's also really good. I just had this buttercream frosting on hand. And then I'm just going to spread this out with my offset spatula. Once that's done, just go ahead and re-roll your cake. If the cake cracks, don't sweat it. A lot of roll cakes tend to crack. Even if you do everything you can to make it not crack, sometimes it just happens anyways, but we are gonna cover it with Nutella later, so don't worry too much. And now I'm just going to transfer this to a cutting board. Then I'll grab a serrated knife and just trim off those ends. And of course the end that I didn't show on camera is the one that ended up turning out better, but here you can see there is our pretty end. And I'm also just gonna trim off a little bit right there, and that's gonna be kind of like our branch coming off of the log. So I'm gonna pop that on the side. Then I'll transfer this to a serving plate. And now it's time to frost this with our Nutella. You might notice some little brown specks on the cake. That's because I originally did chocolate ganache, but then the chocolate ganache didn't work out. Maybe I'll cover that over on the blog post. But anyways though, I ended up using Nutella, which I actually like a lot more. It comes out really glossy and beautiful and it's super easy to spread too. And I'm also gonna add on those little lines there, just so it looks more like a Yule log. Then we're just going to make some quick little Totoro figurines. I'm just making these out of fondant. They're pretty simple to make. So here I'm starting off with our big Totoro. And I'm using water to attach on the ears. Basically, anytime you're working with fondant, you do want to use water to attach the pieces on. It just sticks on really well. So now I'm adding on his big white belly. And I'm gonna grab an edible ink marker and just add on the features now. And now our adorable Totoro is finished. We're also going to make him some friends. So here I have Chibi Totoro, and this one is super easy. And then we're also going to make Chew Totoro. He's basically the same thing as Totoro, but smaller and blue. Then we're just going to pop these all onto our Yule Log cake. So I'm pressing on our sleeping Totoro. 
And then I'm going to use toothpicks to add on his buddies just to make sure they stay in place. And then as a final touch, I'm just gonna add on these holly sprinkles and these just make the cake look super nice and Christmassy. And now our Totoro Bouche de Noel is finished. All right guys, our Totoro Yule Log cake is finished out and I think it looks super cute. I love how the sprinkles add that kind of like holiday touch to it because they're red and green and the cake is really tasty too. Super light and spongy and Nutella tastes good with basically everything. So the cake overall is super tasty and it's perfect for a holiday party. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for lots more videos. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats and then check out my website over at kawaiisweetworld.com for the full recipe and I'll see y'all very soon. Bye guys.